folks, Eric Woldridge here with the Additive Guru channel. And uh, what we want to do real quick is a little combination of Fusion and the text tool to create something that's sort of a merged object or useful object. We're going to start off by actually making a dice or a die, except the fact that we're not going to use dots, we're going to use numbers. And this is just a good way to understand how to use the text tool effectively step by step. So we'll make a block and then we'll say it's going to have, for example, a one on it. And maybe it's going to have a two right here, maybe a three. And so it's going to be very, very simple and nice and slow and set and step by step for you. So the first thing I want to do is create the actual block. So to do that, I uh, just create a new sketch, click on some surface. It really doesn't matter. And I can just use the rectangle tool to make a box. It doesn't really matter what size. And I could have drawn it with a good old fashioned set of lines. Line a few things up if I want to. The key thing is that I add dimensions to size the box correctly. And I'm going to make all these 25 millimeters. I don't need that one. There we go. So I've made a 25 by 25 box. I hit finish sketch. And I extrude the block by selecting on the surface and try that again and typing in 25. So now I have created a 3D box for us to add text to. And it works out really easily. So go ahead and make that first. I'll just you can pause the video and do that now. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in the text. And this is a step-by-step -step process. We're going to add a piece of text here, then here, and then here, and so on and so forth. So I start by hitting the sketch command. I select the top surface of the block, because we might as well start there. Click on it, and I zoom in close. And I use, notice that I'm still in the, the sketch command. I go down my list of options of things to draw and I choose text. And I just click right here to place the text. Now you'll notice the text doesn't have any kind of box or anything shows up. I'm just going to call this one. And you see the text is upside down. I'm going to go ahead and make the text bold and maybe make it a little bit larger. Let's say 15. Maybe even larger than that. How about 20? And I'll use this little dial button here to place it. And I might as well rotate it around using that gripper and place it again. I like where it is. I like the font choice. Arial is fine. I hit OK. And I am done with this sketch. So I say finish sketch. I'll orbit a little bit. And of course, for us to go from a 2D sketch to a 3D feature, we have to extrude. I very carefully click on the one that you see right here and I set it to maybe one millimeter tall and I missed. You see what happened right there? I, it selected the shape around it instead of that so I'm going to hit X here, try that again. That one, one millimeter tall, maybe we'll make it 1.5 just so, you, so it's more obvious. And I say join as my extrude operation. Now the one is becoming a solid and it's part of the block now. Here's the cool part. If I don't, if I think, you know what, that one could be bigger, I can go back into my sketch that created it, right click and say edit sketch, double click it to pull it back up and say 25, maybe even 30. 30 might be a little bit too large. Let's take it back to about, we'll say 28. In place where I like it, hit OK, finish sketch, and now it's all, it's larger and everything. So after creating the sketch, you can always go back and edit the sketch to improve it. Let's repeat the process. Actually, let's have you pause the video and do the same thing I've just done. Go ahead and do that now, please. All right, let's do another one. Sketch, I will select this side of the block, click on it, pull down from create here, text command, place the text, Height was 28. We'll call the surface number 3 for fun. Bold. And we will drag it to the center of the die. Hit OK. 
And that's pretty much it. Finished sketch. And of course now we have to extrude it. Making sure I just click on the three. It's, it keeps wanting to select both of them again, so I'm just hit the X button here to get rid of those. And click on the three again. 1.5 extrusion. And join. Okay, there's the three. Let's go to this side. Create a new sketch. Click this. Pull down, text command. Click to place. We'll call this side two. Bold, 28 in height. Aerial font's good. Drag it to location. OK. And finish sketch. Time to turn into a 3D object, so we hit extrude again. Again, it selected the whole box. I don't like that. I hit the X to get rid of that selection, and I choose the two. 1.5 is the height. Join, and there we go. So we have created three sides of our die, and they have text added to them. Go ahead and pause the video and recreate what I've done, please. Awesome. Now, if you want to make a little bit fancier of a die, you can use your fillet tool to go around and click these edges all the way around. And I may have selected the three now. I think we're good. And you can try to do a one fillet there. Let's see if it's going to get it. Nah, it didn't like it. I'll have to do a little bit more individually based. So what I'll do since it gave me that warning is I will just hit cancel and I'll do have to do the fillet one at a time. Sometimes you can get lucky and get whole surfaces. So I'll click on that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, that one, that one, and that one. Click on one and it kind of round the edges off. Maybe I want to go to two and there we go. So that at least rounded off my my cube. I don't have to do that but it just makes it a little bit look a little cooler. And then of course I could go ahead and do the fillet command to do the rest of them. So fill that edge, that edge, and let's see if we can do it with two. I think we're good to go. There we go. Slicker looking die. And so that's the process. It's a very slow step by step. You know, you sketch on one surface, you add the text command in, you extrude it, you finish it, um, and you repeat. Now what I'd like you to do to finish this up is go ahead and add in the other sides, add text in as you will, creating sides 4, 5, and 6 in whatever arrangement you like, and of course save your file. You may need it later for some type of other application or documentation that you've performed this. Alright, so a handy little trick, take advantage of it, and uh, check out some of our other videos. You might find something pretty helpful in tools of fusion. 360 and other technology. We'll see you.